Honestly, keeping all the components of your personal brand can become overwhelming and chaotic over time. There are so many bits and pieces out there, but I finally found a way to kind of hit the reset button and come back to focus on three core things that your personal brand should always communicate. I'm sharing that in today's short but so impactful video, so please stick around. Hey friends, it's Leanne and I get it. Personal branding is an abstract and overwhelming concept. It's a series of questions of who am I? What do I project? What should I give to my community? What should I write about? What should I talk about? And all of those things can create a lot of chaos and overwhelm in our lives as we're learning to develop our brand. And there is a lot of study that you can do in answering all of those questions. But for me, it comes back to three principles or three strands, as I call it. The three things that you should be weaving together on a consistent basis to communicate your personal brand. Getting back to these three strands allows you to hit that reset button and start to eliminate some of the noise and chaos that might be drowning out your good work. But before we take a look at those three things, remember, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. Each week, I'm posting tips and tricks on personal branding that might just help you in the next step of your journey. So like I said, your personal brand should always communicate three core elements or three strands. And I liken them to strands because on their own, they're very powerful. But when you start to braid these strands together, they create a beautiful design. And in our personal brands, they can tell a compelling story. So here are the three strands that I feel our personal brands should always communicate. Number one, your brand should always communicate how you serve your community. Now your community may be made up of customers, clients, prospects, employers, employees, but whoever it is that your community is, figuring out how you serve through the projection of your personal brand can be critical to your inbound marketing strategy for attracting new business, retaining existing business, and continuing to grow your community. Strand number two is your story. Your brand wouldn't be unique to you without sharing your story with your community. It can be bold shares, including full story disclosures or keynote speaker addresses, even blog posts or social media shares, but it doesn't have to. It can look more subtle through empathy for others' circumstances and simply opening the door for others to share common challenges and struggles with you. Strand number three, your personal brand should communicate what sets you apart from your competition. This is the business driven strand and as sales professionals, we should have a strong understanding of how our product or service differs in the marketplace. Through inbound marketing and personal branding, it isn't a feature sheet, but subtle hints and clues as to why our product is the best product for our clients and prospects. Do you see how these three strands can weave together to create a compelling brand? Again, there's a lot that goes into your personal brand, but if you bring every single decision back down to these three core elements, I firmly believe you'll be able to cut out the noise and chaos and build a brand that compels and attracts. To learn more about personal branding, find me over on my website at leannecalderwood.com. There you'll find a number of resources and blog posts that might just help you along your journey. Thanks for spending time with me today. Have a great week and best of luck on your personal branding journey. Keep in touch. Bye for now.